Welcome back. If you're just joining us, uh, we have a Category 5 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico that continues to intensify at an alarming rate. Maximum winds are around 175 miles per hour. This is a Cat 5, as I mentioned. Pressure down to 911 millibars. This is remarkable because it wasn't more, just a little more than 24 hours ago that this was a tropical storm with a pressure about 80 millibars higher or so. It continues to defy all expectations and intensify at a rate faster than anybody expected. Expected. There it is with a pinhole eye popping out. This thing has all the hallmarks on the satellite presentation of a, the highest end of a tropical cyclone that can be observed in this part of the world. And it's certainly near its theoretical maximum. We'll see if it continues to strengthen. But note that the eye wall continues to exhibit a ton of lightning. I mean, right around the encircling here, the middle of it, all those yellow dots, those are lightning strikes. And so the convection remains symmetrical around the center. The vigorous lightning around it suggests that there is sub substantial subsidence or descent right in the middle, right in there. And that is clearing out the clouds and uh, giving us those lower pressures because when you clear out the clouds, you lower the relative humidity, you warm the column, the pressure underneath goes down and the winds around it go up. That's a lot of talk for the fact that this thing continues to intensify and the hurricane hunters, this group, the Air Force Recon, thank you for your work. And they're finally now going home. You deserve a break. You've been in this tracking it all morning long. Now again, flight level winds remain at about uh, close to 160 knots, which is over 180 miles per hour. But look what has happened to this thing just in the last six hours. We went from 947 six hours ago to now 911, a deepening rate uh, unlike uh, any that I can think of uh, on my modern record book in my head. So this is a remarkable, remarkable event. And we can only hope that the core of it I should say the worst of all the weather by far with Milton is concentrated very close to the center, very close. Once you get outside of the eye wall, the winds and the bad weather radically gets better. So we think that the core, the eye wall, right in here, the worst of it, is going to remain north of Mexico, of Yucatan. That's good news. But that's not the case for Florida. The eye wall, whatever's left of it by the time it makes it to Florida, will cross the West Florida coast. It's coming, and it's coming perhaps late Wednesday or early Thursday, timing yet to be determined. But either way, there's going to be destructive impacts, life-threatening surge, all the trappings that come with a major hurricane. And that's what we think it's going to be, a major hurricane. Probably not as strong as it is now. Probably not. A category five. I say probably because there's still a possibility, but probably not. Regardless, be prepared. Now is the time to make those preparations to protect life and property because not just in Tampa or other areas, we don't know exactly where this is going to go and where it exactly goes, where the center goes, matters a whole lot. Remember, here's a set of simulations that suggest maybe along into the north of Tampa is a viable scenario for the center to move on shore. That is certainly the case. That would, if it were true, bring the worst of all the impacts along and to the south of that, including Tampa and areas well to the south. Devastating consequences there. Bad impacts elsewhere, but the worst of it along that zone. Again, there is going to be movement in this forecast as we know better on the steering patterns upcoming in the next few days. But what we have it right now is a major hurricane landfall, a certainty for Florida. Exactly who gets the worst, we don't know yet, but everybody is going to feel it, and it's going to be very, very bad.